A very good morning to all of you. I hope that you and your family are safe. Children, in the last class, I told you about uh, output devices. I hope that you have seen the video well. In today's class, I am going to tell you about uh, computer memory. So, what is the computer memory? The capacity of a computer of a computer to store data and information is known as computer memory. The capacity of a computer to store data and information is known as computer memory. A computer has a large memory. We can store text, pictures, games, audio and video files in the computer memory right what is the computer memory the capacity of a computer to store data and information is known as computer memory computer memory can be divided in two main parts what are the two main parts let's see first part is primary memory and second part is secondary memory. Primary memory is also divided in two parts. RAM and ROM. Secondary memory is also divided into four categories. Hard disk, CD, DVD, BD, flash drive and memory card. So, this is a structure of memory. At the higher level of classification, memory can be divided in two parts, primary memory and secondary memory. Primary memory further divided in two parts, RAM and ROM. Secondary memory is also divided in four categories, hard disk, CD, DVD, flash drive, memory card. Let's see one by one. Primary memory. What is the primary memory? The memory that can be directly accessed by the CPU is known as primary memory. The memory which can access directly by the CPU is known as primary memory. Primary memory is also known as main memory and uh, internal memory also. It is used to store the data and programs running in the computer. Primary memory is essential for the working of a computer. Right? Primary memory is a main memory. Uh, it is used to store the data and programs running in the computer. When your program is run, then it is stored in the primary memory. When you are working on any application, on that time you are working on a primary memory. Right? Primary memory is also divided in two parts. RAM. What is the full form of RAM? I hope that everyone know full form of RAM. Yes, tell me what is the full form of RAM. Yes, very good. RAM is a Full form of RAM is Random Access Memory. It holds the data temporarily. It is a read-write memory, means the information can be, can be read and written on it. RAM is also a volatile memory. It means uh, the data disappears when the power is switched off. Uh, when your power supply, you, when your power is switched off, then the data which is stored in the RAM is uh, is is disappeared. That's why it is known as volatile memory. Understood what meaning of mean, meaning of volatile memory? Volatile memory means when the power is switched off, 
then the data which is present in in the ram also disappear secondary uh, second is rom the full form of rom is read only memory it is a read only memory it stored the data and information information permanently program are stored on rom when a computer is manufactured then computers manufactured then the data store in the rom it is a non volatile memory it means that uh, the data which is present inside the rom does not affect either switch power is on or off right rom uh, rom is non volatile memory Bec means the data which is present inside the rom does not affect either power supply is on or off rom is used for storing a special piece of software known as bios basic input output system when you open the system you see some sub information and some processing are there so these information these processing are stored in the rom right next is secondary memory what is secondary memory the memory that cannot be directly accessed by the cpu is known as secondary memory secondary memory directly access nahi hoti hai cpu ke zariye it is also known as auxiliary memory external memory backup memory right primary uh, primary memory is a main memory and it is also primary memory is also known as internal memory but secondary memory is known as external memory why it is known as external memory because we can attach it from outside through usb drive right secondary memory is stored to data permanently the files and programs required to run the computer are stored in secondary memory when you are working any program any files then it is stored in primary memory but when you save the data save the program then it is stored in the secondary memory and the data which is stored in the secondary memory is memory is permanently you can access it uh, at any time at any place got it okay some commonly used secondary memory are hard disk the hard disk is the main secondary storage device a hard disk con consists of a spindle that holds one or more disk called platters hard disk in a hard disk one spindle mm, that holds different uh, so many disk these disk are called platters it is fixed inside the cpu a hard disk can store several gigabyte and terabyte of data nowadays hard disk is available uh, uh hard disk is available to store 5 tb data cd the full form of cd is yes compact disk a compact disk can store up to 700 mb of data in a cd we can store 700 mb data a cd is a spherical shape it is used to store data and carry from one place to from one computer to another computers right compact disk can be of two types there are two types of cds available first is cdr the full form of cdr is compact disk recordable data can be written only once on these types of disk means in a cdr you can write data only once time the second types of compact disk is cdrw the full form of cdrw is compact disk rewritable compact disk rewritable 
if data can be read and write so many times you can erase the data and write again but in the cdr it is you can write only once time right you you understood what is the difference between cdr and cdrw cdr in the cdr you can write data only once time but in cdrw you can write data so many times right next is dvd the full form of dvd is digital versatile disc right it is a very similar to cd but it is store a large amount of data a dvd can store about 4.7 gb to 9 gb data a dvd is made of several layers of a plastics next is blu-ray disc the short form of blu-ray Blu disc is bd the capacity of blu-ray disc is higher than cd and dvd a blu-ray disc can store higher resolution videos and audio you can store high quality of data in the blu-ray disc it can store 25 GB of data in a Blu-ray disc. Now, pen drive. Everyone know. Everyone see pen drive? Yes. Pen drive is used to quickly transfer audio, video, and data files from one computer to another. Nowadays, it is very useful because it's a uh, easy to carry it's a very small in size it's light in, light in weight that's why pen drive is more useful nowadays it is also known as usb drive you can uh, it is also known as flash drive memory card a memory card is a small in size it is used in various electronic devices just like a mobile phone digital camera and many other portable device right it is also use large amount of data i hope you getting my points thanks and stay home stay safe